the science behind airbags. Ever since the airbags were created and added to cars with seat belts, the death rate has increased 24%. So now, let's say you get into a terrible giant crash. It only takes 40 milliseconds for the airbag to deploy. Now let's take a deeper look in the steering wheel. And as you can see, the steering wheel consists of one airbag filled with nitrogen, two crash sensors, and one inflator. During those 40 milliseconds, the crash sensor sends a crash, sends an electrical shock to the inflator which inflates the airbag. So now, who invented this awesome idea of the airbag? It was a man by the name of John W. Hetrick in 1952. During that time, only two companies were fighting to make an airbag, General Motors and Ford. At the end, General Motors became the winning company with the first working airbag of the century. After all, General Motors made a plan to put their working airbags into 100,000 cars and sell them to the public. This was such a terrible mistake as only 10,321 cars were sold with airbags. This was such a shocking experience that the actual idea of an airbag actually died. The airbag wasn't seen until 8 years after when Mercedes-Benz put the airbags in their 1984 models as an option. Two years after, Mercedes realized that all their Mercedes needed airbags. It was not until 1990 when the United States of America decided to pass a law saying that all cars sold in the United States needed to have an airbag. So you might be wondering, how does this relate to our class? Well, it all just falls under the bucket of Newton's first law of motion. This law states that any object at rest remains at rest, and any object in motion remains in motion unless an outside force is exerted. If you get into a crash at 40 miles per hour, your body will still be going at 40 miles per hour, which will cause you to smash the dashboard and the window at 40 miles per hour. This is when the airbag comes in handy. The airbag will actually slow you down from the actual speed you were traveling, and that could prevent any major injuries you might get to your head or to your body. So now, anybody has any questions?